Hi, my name is Nisha Anand, and I'm the CEO of DreamCore. And 17 years ago, I also became a mother. 17 years ago, um, I took a big leap of faith. Being a mom is an act of hope. You believe that your children are going to grow into this world, that they're going to inherit a place better. You hope that they will have a better life than you have. And every day that I woke up since then, I hope that my you know, child finds happiness and safety. And my son is now a 17 year old uh, young adult. This summer we'll be touring campuses, looking for colleges for him. And it's another act of hope next year to send him away. Um, and every day, I hope he comes home safe. And there were a lot of firsts for me when he was born, obviously, you know, it was my first child, I became a mom. And I'll remember very much the first time um, that uh, he went to school in kindergarten off on his own. I volunteered a lot at that school and there was an amazing teacher there, Miss Bresnan. She is a lot of teachers, our heroes, Miss Bresnan, hurting all those kindergartners. Um, back then she was my hero and I volunteered a lot in the classroom and I experienced my first active shooter drill as a volunteer in the classroom. And I grew up in, in Georgia. We had tornado drills and tornadoes are a lot, um, I would prefer a tornado over an active shooter drill. And I'm going to say that, um, you know, in all fairness, because in a tornado, you have a warning. You see the weather, you see what it looks outside. There's a warning that it's coming. There's no warning with that active shooter drill. And I remember when that alarm went off and uh, I got 10 of the kids and Miss Bresnan got, you know, 10 of the kids and I hid between two bookcases with them. And we had to make sure they were silent. And I remember thinking, how are these five and six year olds going to stay silent? And she taught a trick to keep your hand over your mouth as a reminder, because even if you're playing the quiet game with children, they're going to blurt anything out. And so we stood like this for 10 minutes. She shut the blinds. She locked the doors. And I remember telling everyone about that. I was like, how terrifying is this that our kids have to go through it? And I live in Berkeley, California. And um I don't think this will ever be a circumstance. Why are we scaring our children uh, under these circumstances?